Hello everyone, this is Abhay Sharma and in this tutorial I'm going to talk about lists. But unlike my past tutorials, I'm going to break this into several parts so it will be easy on all of us. So list is a collection of values or objects etc. For example, this integer node can contain a single value. But integer list node can contain more than one value. Okay. Alright, if you go to the list menu, there are a lot of stuff in here. In create menu, you can create basic types of lists. If you need more than basic types, then there is a lot of other types as well. Let's see an example. I'm going to create a list of booleans. So let's create some boolean nodes. Create a boolean list node, then connect all of it. One thing to notice here is that you can only connect same data type to the list. So if I try to connect a different data type, it won't let me connect it. I can use data conversion if I want to, but let's say not in this case. So what can we do now? Well, we can use a generic list. So let's create a generic list. See, it works. In fact, let's delete these duplicate nodes and create other data type nodes and connect all of them. Okay, let's say I want to create a list of custom attributes of some objects which is not available in the create list menu. First of all, I will create a generic list node. Then duplicate this cube few times. Let's say I want to create a list of pass indexes. So right click and choose the copy data path. Go to object and create an attribute input node. Select our cube and paste the data path. Duplicate it few times and connect it to the list. Now we have a list of pass indices of objects. Ok now let's talk about combined lists which is pretty straightforward. So let's create two list of integers. Then create a combined integer list and combine it. Alright, pretty straightforward. Next we have append. Interesting list operator. Basically it appends or adds a single element to a list. So let's create a list. Connect list output to this list input. Let's see what the output of this list. Let's add few elements and assign some values. So we have seven elements in here. Let's see what happens when you append a value to the list. Now it has eight elements. So it keeps all these seven elements and then adds a single element that you specify here. Let's append more elements. It looks like a laborious process but it's not because we don't append elements like this. This is just an example. You can also manually click on this new input to add more elements but it's not dynamic. So let me show you the dynamic way. I'm gonna use loops. Don't worry about that if it feels scary. I just wanna show you how we can use the append node the right way. So I'll create a loop node first. Then add a vector list parameter input. Create invoke node. Then I'll create a vector list. I'm gonna delete all the elements so it's a blank list. Loop node will just pass it through because it's a parameter input. Create append node. 
connect it with the loop see the output it's nothing because our loop hasn't run even once so let's increase the iterations you can see we are creating a list now what kind of element you want to add to this list depends on you so that's all for this tutorial if you like this tutorial then subscribe give it a thumbs up comment or share okay thank you so much for watching and i'll see you later